Marjorie Green has a new boyfriend. His name is Brian Glenn, and he took it upon himself to say some pretty disgusting and insulting things about Brittany Griner, who of course is with the WNBA, who was luckily freed from being held captive in Russia. And apparently she had her first two games recently. And Brian Glenn, again, Marjorie Green's new boyfriend, decided to misgender her. Okay, so he is, by the way, the director of programming at the Right Side Broadcasting Network, and here's what he tweeted. Good morning to all the men this morning, except to hashtag Brittany Griner, and then he misgenders, misgenders her with he, him. It shouldn't surprise anyone that a man is now the face of a woman's professional basketball league, hashtag WNBA. Okay, so she. He's just picking a fight for no reason. No reason. Like she's not. Who even are you? Like who even are you? Like seriously. Yeah, he's a, a clownorama. Now we have to like fight back against like Marjorie Taylor Greene's rando boyfriends. Now I looked into it. It turns out <laughs> this guy's not the tantric sex guru. This is another guy. This is the guy after the she tantric get real sex busy. guru. Mm -hmm. The tantric sex gurus who. Uh, she left her husband for, mm -hmm. but then they got into a, some sort of tantric fight. It lasted for a while, a lot of different weird positions that they got into back and forth until they broke up. Um, but now she's with this guy who also has his own issues, which we're gonna get to in a second. But apparently we have to now debate him. And no, we don't. This, uh, we don't and, have to debate him. Uh, we, we, we need to clown him and Marjorie Green for being the idiots that they are, right? Like, what, like, what is this? So this wasn't even like one of the imaginary things that the Republicans made up. Like, oh my God, we're we're not worried about the kids in the schools getting ripped apart by AR-15s and murdered on a regular basis. We're worried about drag queens do story stories, ah, right? And but that this isn't that. This isn't bathrooms. This isn't high school sports. This isn't anything. He's just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna call a woman a man. <laughs> Right, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, of course, loves it. And now we're gonna have to point out his hypocrisy. So, much like many Republicans who have been outraged at drag queens and have even gone so far as to pursue legislation outlawing drag queens, Brian Glenn seems to have an affinity for dressing in drag. In fact, of after course. he decided to go after Brittany Griner, people did some digging and they came across this. So um, here's an image of him dressed in uh, drag. All right, anyway, so he was promoting um, Ed Howard, Jastin Williams, and Joe Spears' comedic play, A Tuna Christmas on Morning News in Dallas. Don't care. Uh, that's not the only time he dressed in drag. Do we have the other video? We do. Let's watch. I can tell you, I don't think a lot, I think a lot of people are up now. They're all hashtag I am up. Of course, come and check it out here. Starts off Saturday. I'm kicking these shoes off, but I may keep the pantyhose on. It does yeah. feel kind of good, well, actually. Good luck, I'm not going to pee in them, I promise. Sit it back in the studio. Would you look at that? Conservative men taking the place of women in news broadcasts everywhere. How dare they? Okay, uh, I believe that's dressing in drag, but wait, 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 wait. Much worse. That was on live television, both times, going to all the kids in that city. Children have been scandalized. Ch the ch what about the children? Scandalized. What about the children? All the tr children saw that, and he was kind of telling them a story on air about the news. How many children from and that how generation much he likes have been tainted and scandalized by the behavior of this disgusting man? I, I think he's got to be canceled, to be honest mm. with you, okay? Because mm. the right wing says, you know, if you have these kind of things, you got to shut them down. Shut you got to cancel them, right? Cancel them. So we got to cancel. Look, it's not my idea. We're just doing right it for the idea. children. We're doing it for the children. That's right. Because mm -hmm. what if he endangers the children again by dressing in drag for the 18th or 28th time? Think about it. Okay. And so, and if the children see that, that's it. Boom, they're endangered instantly. Okay. Uh, as they are, of course, with Brittany Griner. For what reason? We still don't. Brittany Griner did nothing wrong. Brittany Griner just was able to uh, be freed uh, because of the help from the Biden administration. She's back in the United States. She had her first two WNBA games. She did nothing wrong. And this guy is just like, I'm just gonna go after her for no reason. Like, do you have nothing else to do? But the guys, 
I think Twitter needs to be banned. Like Twitter needs to be banned, period. <laughs> it really does. It brings out the worst in people. Twitter is the online platform of what people are like behind the wheel during road rage. Oh my God, I'm gonna talk about that right? on Old School tonight. No, it brings out the worst in people. Like unrecognizable, the kind of behavior people engage in on Twitter versus in real life, right? Yeah. Uh, kind of like when you're behind the wheel and you're experiencing that road rage and you say things, and you're like, whoa, I can't believe that came out of my mouth. Like just vicious things about someone who has wronged you by not letting you get into the lane when you've had your blinker on. Yeah. Make space, folks, make space. Okay, just it's totally hypothetical. That didn't happen. It didn't Anna. happen. Never. Okay, just never. Totally People are always really kind to me on the road. Right now, we're <laughs> gonna get to Marjorie Taylor Greene's reaction here, uh, but I want to tell you about that road rage. I'm actually coincidentally going to talk about that issue uh, on Old School tonight. Uh, so that's at 10 o'clock Eastern. If you want to watch it live on YouTube or tyt.com/live, and if you uh, become a member, you get both episodes of Old School, which are super fun. tyt.com/join or hit the join button below on. YouTube. Okay, so finally, Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, is forced to respond to this. Forced. And is she going to uh, acknowledge the giant hypocrisy here? Uh, you're gonna be shocked to find out, no. Uh, she says, I'm literally LOLing. Brian Glenn, uh, dressed in drag for morning news in Dallas years ago, reporting on an upcoming local theater production. And the morons over at Patriot Takes I think this is an attack. Brian loves the throwback and is reposting crying out loud emoji. Uh, the left is so stupid. Right, the left is so the stupid. The left is stupid. So you guys, you in specific Marjorie Taylor Greene say, drag queens are terrible, we can't expose anyone. Then what about the children? When your husband or boyfriend loves dressing up in pantyhose over and over and over and over and over again, uh, and exposing all the kids of the city to it, you think, oh, hello, Ellen, who cares? It's totally okay when we do it. And he's kind of sexually into it, so it's totally okay. Okay, let's not like go overboard. We don't know okay, if he's sexually he, into it. Well, he's into Marjorie Taylor Greene, so that gives you some clue. Oh, I do not condone that statement from Jake Uger. Okay, that <laughs> is beneath us. No, but it's a fact that he's into her. Or what? I just okay. stated a fact. Are you saying that she looks like a man in I drag? didn't say anything. <laughs> I literally, I didn't say that at all. He said it, I didn't. Okay, I didn't say a word, okay. But I get it. But I'm literally LOLing Marjorie Taylor Greene, because I'm sure you're not gonna take offense. Because when you do the attacks, no one should take offense. But when it's done to you, all of a sudden, okay, interesting. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.